Becoming a data analyst used to require four years in a classroom and $50,000. Today, all you need is ChatGPT and 10 minutes of learning. I am going to show you how to clean and interpret your data sets within ChatGPT in order to help you solve problems. And at the end, I'm going to show you the best way to analyze your data within ChatGPT. So let's get into it. First, we need to activate the advanced data analysis feature within ChatGPT4. So as you can see, you may have GPT4 already, but there's nothing else to click on. What you need to do is open up your sidebar, head down to your settings, click on settings and beta, head over to beta features. And here you can activate plugins and advanced data analysis. We are going to activate them both, even though we won't need plugins for the rest of this video. I'm going to close out of that. And now we can close our sidebar and hover over GPT-4. And we now have this advanced data analysis feature and we can activate it. You can now see that there's a plus button down here that gives you the ability to attach files to ChatGPT. Step one is complete. You have this feature activated. Now let's move on to step two, which is activating custom instructions. Now this step is optional, but I do highly recommend it as it provides much better responses. So in order to activate custom instructions, once again, you wanna open up your sidebar and head down to your settings. Then you can click custom instructions. And as you can see, I have a professional role of yoga instructor in here currently, but that wouldn't be too helpful for data analysis. So I'm going to delete all of the yoga instructor information. If you've never used custom instructions before, these are basically two boxes that you pre-fill and then ChatGPT will answer accordingly. So what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And how would you like ChatGPT to respond? You can turn these on or off and this will allow ChatGPT to provide the information you want in the responses every single time. And what I've done is I've made a database with over 300 different custom personas with these boxes pre-filled and ready to go. So since we are analyzing some data today, maybe I can head over to the technology section of my personas database, and then I could look for something like data scientist. I can click on that, and then we can copy these sections to their corresponding ones in ChatGPT, and I can paste it in here. And now ChatGPT is thinking like a professional data scientist, and it's also responding like one too after we get that section pasted in here. Now these custom personas are for sale on my website. I'll leave a link in the top pinned comment or the description below. There's over 300 different custom personas in here and over 10 different categories. So you can do stuff with marketing, business, writing, finance, technology, and so on. But for this video, we are going to be using the data scientist profession. And then we can hit save. And now ChatGPT's responses will be tailored as if it's a professional data scientist. So that's how I set up my ChatGPT in order to help me clean and analyze my data. Next, we actually have to upload our data to ChatGPT and we have to understand what formats are available to upload, clean, and analyze. So right now I'm in my ChatGPT mastery course and I'm actually in the advanced data analysis section. And this course is great for learning ChatGPT. I will also leave this with the personas in the description or the top end comment. We have over 80 plus members in here now. Everyone is loving it so far. So let me dive into some of the files that are available to upload to ChatGPT. As you can see, you can upload text files, programming source files, office documents, PDF files, image files, data files, audio files, and archive files. So the list goes on. There are so many different files you can upload to ChatGPT's advanced data analysis. So this is very useful when trying to learn new things about your data and find trends and analyzing. Great, now we know all of those different source files that we can actually put into ChatGPT. So let's do that. Let's upload a data set to ChatGPT and to get cleaning this data. Because in this next step, we actually have to have ChatGPT do an overall look through of the data and make sure that it's clean and formatted in the proper way. And I'm also going to give you some prompts you can type into ChatGPT in order to best clean your data. As you can see, I have this Google Sheet for social network ads, and it's a very simple Google Sheet. We have a user ID over here. We have a gender, age, estimated salary, and then this is a column to see if they purchased or not. So we're going to actually try to find trends between salary, age, and gender within ChatGPT. But first, we need to see if this data is set up correctly. Can this be analyzed okay in ChatGPT? Well, that's what we need to find out. So what you can do if you're using something like Google Sheets is you can hit file, then you can hit download and you can download it as an XLSX or you can download it as a CSV. Anything really works as I was showing you earlier. Then once you have that downloaded to your desktop or your folders, what you can do is you can actually hit this plus button to attach a file. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit social network ads and then I'm going to hit open. 
And as you can see, there's now this CSV spreadsheet within ChatGPT. And now I can start prompting and asking questions about this data. I can tell ChatGPT to clean this data. I can pretty much do anything. And ChatGPT is going to use its code interpreter to interpret this knowledge at my request. So the first thing I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do is to clean this data. First, we want to tell ChatGPT what this data is so it can understand what it's looking at. And also, what is the goal? What's going to be our goal after cleaning this data? And then we can tell ChatGPT to clean it when necessary. So this is a very simple prompt. With custom instructions enabled, we don't need anything crazy. We don't have to tell ChatGPT to act like a data scientist. Since all that information is already pre-filled out, we can just tell ChatGPT, this data represents whatever your data represents, which in my case, it's advertising numbers, and then give ChatGPT your goal. I tell it, I want to eventually find trends with this data. First, I need you to clean and format this data in order to get it prepared for analysis. So this is the important step before data analysis. We need to clean this data to get it ready for that step. So now I can send this off. And as you can see, similar to plugins, ChatGPT will pop up with this box saying working. It's looking over the sheet right now. It's loading it in. And now this is what I love so much about data analysis mixed with custom instructions is it's kind of asking for my permission in a way. And it's just giving follow-up questions and recommendations based on what I've provided. So as you can see, it clearly read all of the columns user ID, gender, age, estimated salary, and purchased. And this gives more information on each column of what it stands for. So for purchased, a binary variable indicating whether the user made a purchase, one or not, zero. So it's kind of explaining how this is working when it comes to the way that the columns are formatted. So then it says, here are some typical steps to consider. Check for missing values, data type verification, unique identifier verification, categorical data formatting, and outliers. And then it asks me if I would like to proceed with these steps or if I have any specific requirements. And this is what I love so much about this feature is that you don't have to know all this stuff. You know, you don't have to know what to check when you're cleaning data. ChatGPT will give you that information and just ask, would you like to proceed with it? And then you can type in something as simple as yes. And after this, when ChatGPT cleans the data, not only is it going to clean that data for you, but it's also going to give you a downloadable copy of the new data that you can import in and replace your current data. And as you can see, it went through step by step, gave me nice headers, and it just tells me what it found when running through each of these data cleaning steps. This is giving me all of this information. And it says that all of these columns were formatted in the right way. There was no cleaning necessary. So now we are ready to actually get on to analyzing this data. And it asks me, would I like to proceed to the next step, such as exploratory data analysis, otherwise known as EDA, or feature engineering? So these are things that I don't need to know all this stuff. I don't need to know what this means. I don't need to know what EDA means. It's giving me these recommendations. And if I want to know further into what something is, I can just ask ChatGPT. For example, what does EDA entail? I can ask it that question. What does EDA entail? And it gives me all of the components of EDA in a matter of 15 seconds, things I never knew before. And again, with the custom instructions enabled, it asked me, would you like to proceed with EDA based on these components? Now this data cleaning process went very smoothly. There was nothing that was really out of line and everything fell into place very well. If you do have a data set that has a lot of missing values and that needs a lot of cleaning, you can ask ChatGPT to give you a downloadable file and it will pop up with a link that when you click it, it downloads it to your computer. And from there, you can actually import it to your new Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel, or whatever you use for your data. Now that we have all of the data cleaning out of the way and we have some recommendations on data analysis, what we can do is analyze this data. Analyzing the data helps you find trends or outliers in your content, advertising, even music sometimes. And this way you can really start to pinpoint what works well, what doesn't, and what can I do in the future based on the trends within this data. And ChatGPT can help us step by step through this entire process, which is amazing. Let's get into it. So if you remember correctly, first I asked ChatGPT to clean this data, and then I said I want to get it prepared for analysis. And before I have even typed in anything else, it's already been giving me different analysis techniques such as EDA. I asked what does EDA entail, and it gave me all of these descriptions on different components of EDA. And I'm going to make this as simple as possible. I don't need to type out any fancy prompt. I have my custom instructions enabled. That's kind of giving me the tone, the system functions that I need for ChatGPT to properly respond to me. But now I can just ask it to proceed with the EDA. 
The EDA is the exploratory data analysis, which it provided for me. So I can type in as something as simple as yes in order to start analyzing this data. And data analysis doesn't have to just be yes, no, let ChatGPT give you recommendations. You can ask ChatGPT questions like identify the key trends over the past years or what influences people to make sales based on this data. Does gender play a role? Does age play a role? Does income play a role? How does this all tie in? So when you're analyzing your data, you're really just looking for outliers or trends within your content or your CSV or any source file that you upload. All you're doing is trying to find solutions to problems. So when data analysis comes around, what do you want to know the answer to? The data has already been cleaned, so now you can just ask ChatGPT questions about that data in order to further understand your situation, whether that be financially, in business, marketing, technology, whatever it is. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with the EDA based on these components. I'm just going to say, use EDA on this data. And then I can send it off, and now ChatGPT will quickly get this done for me and have all sorts of analyzation and components for me to review. And it starts off with a couple of steps. It gives me this fancy graph showing distribution by age, and this is completely generated with ChatGPT. I don't have any plugins activated. All I have is that advanced data analysis feature enabled, but it's giving me graphs based on the data that I uploaded. It gives me the distribution of estimated salary over here on the right, Zero represents those who did not purchase something, and one represents those who did purchase something. So a lot more people didn't buy anything from these ads rather than people who actually did buy something. And it doesn't only give me the graph, but it kind of describes what's going on here in the descriptive statistics and data visualization section. So it gives me numerical features, then it goes into age, estimated salary, then it goes into categorical features such as gender and purchased. And I like how it's giving me this in manageable chunks. It didn't just do all of the EDA steps all in one. It says we have some more to go. We actually have four more of these to do. Would you like to proceed with these next steps? And this way I can kind of take in some information. I can view what it's given me. And then when I'm ready, I can type in yes. And now it's working and it's going through all of this information with us. Guys, just take a look at this. We have box plots, correlation matrix of numerical variables. And they have these pair plots that are just super advanced. This has been how to become a data analyst in ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Again, I have my custom personas and my course available for purchase in the top pinned comment or the description below. So if that interested you at all, and you wanna learn even more about ChatGPT, then I recommend picking those up. If not, that's okay too. I have plenty of free content that you can learn from on this channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.